Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, we're going to be talking and discussing about uh, link summoning and the series of brains or brains. I don't know how they're going to what they're going to call it over here in the TCG, but we're going to be talking about this. Um, and it's something I've been thinking about and hypothesizing, but I'm not quite sure what will happen. But I would love to hear your feedback as well and your thoughts on the topic I'm about to discuss today. So, as you know, brains or link summoning in general, pretty much, you have your arrows, and link summoning puts a cap on the extra deck. So, to get more extra deck monsters out from your extra deck, you need to have the arrows pointing in certain directions. So, I don't have a chart with me, but say I had my um, my link summon monster up in my main monster dome. I think it's called your extra deck zone, and then I have two arrows pointing here and here, all right? So those give me, in those two you know, zone slots, I now have the ability to summon two more extra deck monsters to those slots. And the question I have is pretty much, because in some way, shape, or form, Link Summoning unlocks the extra deck, is the series of reigns going to be promoting still exceeds, synchros, fusions, stuff, uh, things of this nature pretty much is what I'm talking about. Because if you have been through the Arc V era, you know that fusions were promoted, exceeds were promoted, synchros were promoted, uh, ritual monsters were promoted. So pretty much all the different mechanics were promoted in the Arc V era, in the pendulum summoning era. So the question I have is, will these things still be promoted in some way, shape, or form as we head into this new era of the game of Yu-Gi-Oh? And the reason I even bring this up is a lot of people will say, first off, and I know I'll, this is the first thing everybody will comment, would be, well, because it's the new mechanic you know, Link Summoning is, they're only going to focus on Link Summoning and not support the other mechanics. That's not what I'm talking about necessarily. I'm not, I know they're going to promote Link Summoning, yes, I understand because that's the new mechanic, they're going to promote that a lot. But because Link Summoning doesn't just promote Link Summoning, it also promotes the extra deck. And what do we have in the extra deck besides Link Monsters? Exceeds, Synchros, Fusions, Pendulums, depending upon how you want to do that. So my question is even though that these mechanics are going to be slowed down, are we still going to get new archetypes, new support, new things of this nature for these new mechanics? Um, are we going to get new archetypes that are, for example, are we going to get a new archetype that's an exceed based archetype that even though it's based on exceeds, it also includes link summoning? So that's my question I have. Is link summoning going to be this thing where it's a generic? Thing, and then you're gonna have archetypes that are pure link summoning because I could definitely see that happening. You know, like I have my extra deck monster zone, it's a link monster, then I bring out another link monster, and then another link monster over here, and then that arrow points that way, leading me to bring out another link monster. So now I have three link monsters on the field and one in my extra deck zone because the arrows are pointing sideways in a whole bunch of different ways. So Definitely, I think there will be link-based decks that are just strictly focused on link summoning. And this is all hypothetical, by the way. But I wonder, and I'm curious to know, that because link summoning in general promotes the extra deck in some way, because to use the extra deck, you need link summoning. So if you understand where I'm coming at, I'm wondering if they're still going to promote new archetypes that revolve around it. Now, will Konami do it? Most likely. Probably. I, I could definitely not see that happening. I, I don't, the only era I can ever think of is, you know, in the course of Yu-Gi-Oh's history was the 5Ds era to some degree, like the late 5Ds era and the Zexo era for the most part, where we literally had no promotion of, you know, ritual summoning besides that and fusion summoning to some degree. Like, no new archetypes came out of that. And I, I've been enjoying you know, the pendulum summoning era because the fact that Konami still promoted fusions, exceeds, synchros, you know, all these other things. But heading into this new era, are they still going to do that? And I think they will in some way, shape, or form. I think what will happen is we are going to probably get generic 
link summoning monsters that will help you uncrack your extra deck to special summon things out. Now, would they make it, you know, like an exceed, a fusion, you know, extra deck based deck that still uses link monsters in some capacity? It's yet to be seen. It would mean that you would have to dedicate more. You'd have to come up with a generic link monster for that archetype. And then you would have to come up with a generic synchro for that archetype. So if they did it like, like what they've done with Stellar Knights and, you know, other archetypes like Shadals, where they release some, you know, in a core set through one year. So like Duelist Alliance and, you know, three, four sets, we got different Stellar Knights and Shadal monsters. If they did that, then yeah, I could definitely see Konami, you know, if they released maybe 20 of an archetype card or 15 of an archetype card, I could definitely see them making archetypes based on fusion, exceeds, and synchros. But the question is, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. It's Konami. I mean, yes, they're going to want to promote their new mechanic. I got that. Are they going to promote Link and Summon it as the main extra deck? Probably. But are they also going to support the older stuff? Well, I can definitely see, yeah, there's definitely money to be made in that, first off, by making new Link monsters support old mechanics. But are they going to make new archetypes involving a kind of like a, a if you took link summoning and synchros and you made an archetype together that's what i'm saying like are they going to still do things of that nature i don't know but it's very curious to think about how would you come about making a deck like that you know just even if they don't do it like how would they do that like okay we released some good generic link monsters say they made like a, a pirate extra deck monster you know a pirate themed archetype and then you know a couple of the link monsters were you know the pirate uh, monsters were actually link extra deck monsters and then you had a couple of exceed extra deck monsters and a couple of synchro extra deck monsters for this pirate archetype put to get the link you know pirate extra deck monsters out you would just need a pirate cards you know you only could link someone out using two pirate cards or something like of that nature i could see them doing it i think it opens up Pandora's box for a whole different different um, ideas and creativity to some degree for Konami to play around with if they want to. Um, I definitely see things of that nature being plausible and possible in the future. Will Konami do it right away? Maybe not. Um, you know, we went through an era because in the 5Ds era, well, not the 5Ds, excuse me, the Arc V era, Arc 5 era, we saw, you know, they had different dimensions. You had the fusion, exceed, synchro dimension. And so they supported those mechanics. But the question is, are we going to continue that into the new era? Um, I think in some way, shape, or form, we are, they are, Konami definitely will. Uh, I don't think it's just going to be all link summoning and that's it. I, I could not foresee that truly happening. You're probably going to still get your good extra deck monsters, good link monsters. I think to promote link summoning, what you may see, is, see even is good generic monsters extra deck monsters so extra deck monsters that are more worth your while to bring out into that one extra deck zone if you need to um so it's going to be interesting to see how it develops over the course of the next year or two uh, how link summoning and these older mechanics interact with each other how konami maybe brings some of the old mechanics back to life you know like very heavy synchro decks new archetypes, things of that nature. It's going to be very interesting to see. But tell me what your thoughts down below. And like I said at the beginning of this video, guys, I'm not talking about, yes, I know it's a new mechanic. Konami will promote the new mechanic a lot because it's a new mechanic. But are they going to still make archetypes based with link summoning and synchros or link summoning and exceeds? You know, how would they go about that? How would you build a deck like that, interesting enough? I think they could, like I said, they could make it archetype Pacific. You know, like maybe two archetype Pacific link monsters and then make a couple of link monster exceeds or synchros, whatever it's based on. I, I could definitely see potential there. But tell me what you guys think down below. I look forward to hearing your thoughts and opinions on this video. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see. I'm very excited for the new era of Yu-Gi-Oh! in some ways. I'm, I'm a little bit like I've, as I've thought about all the different ways, the new things, I'm, I'm excited. At the same time, I'm a little sad because some of my decks are not going to be able to play right, right away. But I'm, I'm, I'm still like figuring out ways like, oh, I can definitely still play this deck if I play it like this. Or if I try these new cards out or these new combos out. Yeah, the deck is still alive. So I'm excited. A little scared, happy, but tell me what you guys think down below uh, about how do you think they would create these new archetypes using old mechanics, 
fusing with new mechanics. But till next time, guys, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really look forward to hearing your thoughts down below. And I'll see all of you guys next time. Good luck dueling to all of you. Take care, everybody.